it's your boy King Cobra back at it with another video. You bet. I'm creating some delicious nachos. It's going to involve cheese, potted meats, oh, some pork grinds, and some hard boiled eggs. We're going to take, yeah, the take those hard boiled eggs and then boil it in beer, stick them in the bowl, and cool them off. If they're smacking them, Yes, they're ready to peel. Beautiful. We're gonna rinse that in some cold water. What up, YouTube? It's nacho time, yes. We're gonna make our dank nachos. We'll start off with a layer of our spicy nacho Doritos. Now we're gonna need some cheese for our nachos. So we got some Lucrane Mexican style four cheese blend. Then we're gonna take some of our zesty chipotle from the pepper patch. Do a couple dabs on there. I'm gonna grab some potted meat. Thanks, Billy, for the pot of meat. Appreciate it, man. I want to dollop the uh, potted meat all over the top of our uh, nacho cheese and hot sauce. Yes, yeah, please. This can's not very big, but we can spread it. Hmm. I love to make some pot of meat, that's good. So we're gonna add until we're satisfied with the pot of meat, then we're gonna add our next layer of chips and goodness. Mmm. Maybe a sprinkle of cheese on top of our meat. Slap on some of that bacon ranch for Hidden Valley. Mm-hmm. Those are good looking nachos. Look at it. Yes. Now we're gonna add our spicy buffalo pork grinds to the top of our our mixture. Chips and goodness. Push that down just a wee bit. Now this here is going to have to melt in the microwave and get all that cheese nice and gooey. Oh, look at that. I'm going to nuke it. For two minutes and 34 seconds, we're going to periodically watch that. Watching it like a hawk. A little bit longer. And a minute and eight. So now we're going to garnish with our hard boiled eggs. Boil them in cool water so they can peel faster. Boil them, then cool them off in cold water so they peel faster. Yeah. I wanna garnish these nachos with enough hard boiled egg that it's just like, oh hey, it's a presentation. 
I'll only do one more like right there and then it'll be enough. That's looking good for my uh, remaining ones. Let's set these in the fridge for later. So I'm going to do a light sprinkle of cheese on top of our hard boiled eggs. Just a little itty bitty sprinkle on top. Now we're going to smother it in that bacon ranch. Should we hit it with some of that sweet honey barbecue sauce and then pop it in the microwave? Yes, we should. Just a light drizzle of barbecue. You don't need a whole lot. Making the prettiest looking nachos you ever did see. Look at these fucking delicious bastards. Oh my god, stop. And we're going to microwave that at a very low and slow temperature of 10 second bursts until all that cheese is ooey gooey on top. The reason why we're doing it slow is because we don't want the eggs to explode in the microwave. That would make a really huge mess. do one more 20 second burst and then it'll be done take a look at those nachos oh fuck yes you got me a fork I'm gonna grab one of them hard boiled eggs first Might have to go on the microwave a little bit longer. Mm. Cheese ain't quite melted on top. Strange enough, I don't care. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is good. Oh, yes. Dude, the barbecue sauce, that complements the spiciness of the habanero sauce. It's there, but it's not smacking you in the face. It's like, oh, hey, I'm here. What's up? Really flavorful heat. YouTube, these nachos are swinging. I know I'm not going to be able to eat the entire thing. Because I'm not that hungry. But I'll be eating on this for the remainder of the evening. Yo, potted meat is actually not half bad. A lot of people talk smack on it because it's like, oh, it's weird, you know? But, like, right, spam potted meat, I love it, dude. You can make a hearty plate of nachos for pretty goddamn cheap. It's a blob of delicious, artery-clogging, gluten-filled deliciousness. That's why I said delicious. Mmm.